In this video we will be exploring the life story of one of the most talented and iconic musicians of all time. Verdine White is best known as the bassist and founding member of the legendary band Earth, Wind and Fire. He has played a significant role in shaping the music industry and has influenced generations of musicians with his unique style and sound. However, behind the success and fame, Verdine has a tragic life story that many people are unaware of. So, in this video, we will delve into the life of Verdine White and his personal struggles. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. Threatening Childhood Rare Condition Verdine White was born on July 25, 1951, in Chicago, Illinois. He was raised in a musical family as his father, Verdine Sr., was a successful saxophonist and a member of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Music was a significant part of his life from an early age, and he grew up listening to jazz and classical music. Despite growing up in a supportive and loving household, White's childhood was not without its challenges. When he was just three years old, he was diagnosed with a rare condition called congenital nephrosis, which meant that his kidneys were not functioning properly. This required him to undergo regular dialysis treatments and medical procedures, which were painful and difficult for a young child to endure. However, through the support of his family and his own determination, White was able to overcome his health challenges and pursue his passion for music. Formation of Earth, Wind and Fire Band Verdine's older brother, Maurice White, was also a musician, and together they formed the band Earth, Wind and Fire in 1969. Earth, Wind and Fire became one of the most successful and iconic bands of the 1970s, with their unique blend of funk, soul, and R&B music. Verdine's bass playing was a crucial element of the band's sound, and he was known for his distinctive playing style, which combined slap bass, thumb technique, and percussive rhythms. He was also known for his flamboyant stage presence, which included his signature spinning and jumping. Verdine's contribution to the band's success cannot be overstated. He co-wrote many of the band's biggest hits, including Shining Star, September, Boogie Wonderland, and Let's Groove. He also produced several of their albums, including Power Light and Electric Universe. Throughout his career, Verdine has collaborated with many other artists, including Denise Williams, Ramsey Lewis, and The Emotions. Verdine's struggles with drug addiction. One of the most tragic events in White's life occurred in 1974 when his girlfriend, Jeanette, was killed in a car accident. This was a devastating loss for White, and it took him years to come to terms with her death. In an interview with Rolling Stone, White described how he turned to drugs and alcohol to cope with his grief, but eventually realized that he needed to make changes in his life. He sought help from a therapist and he credits his brother Maurice for helping him overcome his addiction and turn his life around. Despite these challenges, Earth, Wind and Fire continued to tour and record throughout the 1980s and 1990s, with Verdine playing a key role in the band's success. However, tragedy struck once again in 1996, when Verdine's wife, Shelley Clark, was diagnosed with breast cancer. The Struggles of Shelley Clark Verdine White's wife, Shelley Clark, was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2004. The diagnosis was devastating to both Verdine and Shelley, as they had been married for over 30 years and had raised two children together. Shelley underwent treatment for the cancer, including surgery and chemotherapy, but unfortunately, the cancer returned several years later. Despite the challenges, Verdine and Shelley remained strong and committed to each other, with Verdine even writing the song Love's Dance as a tribute to his wife. The Death of Maurice White However, Tragedy struck again in 1996 when Maurice was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, a degenerative neurological disorder. Verdine and the rest of the band continued to tour and record, but Morris's health declined, and he passed away in 2016. The loss of his brother was a devastating blow for Verdine, and he has spoken openly about his grief and the impact it has had on him. Verdine's contributions to music have been recognized with numerous awards and accolades, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2000. We hope this video has shed some light on the life and career of this amazing artist. Thank you for watching.